away from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Heading off to Sydney now. Um, it's going to be a long trip. It'll take about two days to get back to the U.S. But, um, well, here we go. My time in Australia is over, and I'm heading back home to the off-grid homestead. I'll see you guys back in America. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Um, annoyed at the fact that people make laptops look like mirrors. Hi there. Um, I don't know. When laptops were first invented, people tried and tried to make the screens anti-reflective. And now, for some reason, they make them like a mirror. I don't understand that. But anyway, I'm sitting here in Sydney. I've got another four hours to wait, and I'm working on the um, free internet. Uh, different imports have different things. Melbourne, I had to pay for internet, um, but I got my cart for free, and uh, everything was right there. I got to Sydney, I had to pay for a cart, and then find out I had to pay for a bus to get to the international airport, which I actually had no idea. Um, the first time I ever actually had to pay for a shuttle bus in any airport I've ever been in. But here I am, last minutes, last hours I should say, in Australia. That's all my gear. This is it. This is everything. Um, I originally traveled and came to Australia with just this bag and my laptop bag. And originally, um, that was it. That's all I had. Well, the hat has been gained in the meantime, and that big bag has been gained. I, um, Bought a lot of clothes down in Australia, uh, of course, which I can use back home. And I got a bunch of souvenirs for people. But I sure gained a lot of gear coming home. It makes a huge difference traveling so long and living in a hot, hot area, hot and humid, uh, which is something I've actually not been used to. Uh, makes New York look like a freezer. So. Maybe I'll do better this summer in New York. So, I've been blessed with a sunny day. And it's not too hot here in Sydney. Right now it's, um, I don't know what, in Celsius they said 22 degrees, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know at this time, but they all talk Celsius here, so that's what I gotta go with. Feels nice, it's not too hot. The sun isn't too bad either. And I've got four hours left in this country, so I can't check in yet. i got to wait another 40 minutes till I can check in, and then I'll go inside and uh, wait for my plane to San Francisco.
coming home. Good morning, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I'm in San Francisco. Uh, for those who are interested, I flew in on a 747. Um, it was overcrowded and packed, so I did not uh, get much video. And I was stuffed in the middle. And I haven't slept a minute, literally. But San Francisco Airport is pretty nice. Um, they got these little office cubicles. So I'm going to be working on the internet, answering your questions and comments and maybe get some videos going on here. So uh, I still have two more flights to catch and then I'll be at my parents' place and then uh, wait for the weather to clear so I can go back to New York in a few days. I'll see you guys soon.
and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to Chicago International Airport. The local time is approximately 7.10. Is that? Oh, there she is. Baby cat. Hey, baby cat. How you doing? Huh? Do you remember me? Can you move? Hey, yeah, baby. Come here. Baby. <laughs> well, she remembers me. Mm-hmm. Don't you, baby cat? Huh? I thought she'd be all excited. Just wants to smell. <laughs> She's growling because the other cats. Yeah. She always did when I held her around the other cats. Hey, baby. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. You growl with the other cats, huh? Hi, this is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Um, just looking at the snow on the roads. Now, this isn't a country, they don't plow heavily here. But, um, and it's been snowing non-stop 
So, anyway, I was just out here checking out the status of things since I got home. Uh, it is pretty cold. It's quite a shock going from swimming in 80 degree ocean water to uh, standing here in snowy winter. And um, it's averaging uh, about high of 10 by day and negative temperatures Fahrenheit by uh, nighttime. So, anyway, I had a good trip back before I go in and show you what I want to here. I had a good trip, um, good flight back from Australia. It was um, really smooth connections. I made all the connections well. Um, cleared through customs and inspections really smooth. Actually, it was my, my smoothest ever in all my years of travel. So, uh, that was um, pretty nice. Um, didn't sleep at all, but I just don't sleep well when I'm surrounded by people. But other than that, it was a good flight. When you have four different planes and two different vehicles you're driving with to get home, um, it's quite a trip. It took me about two whole days overall by the time I got to my parents' house. And we got in at about 1.30 last night, in the middle of the night. But what I want to show you is... Although the road isn't bad here, they keep it plowed. Um, oh, there. There's, can you see it? I can't see it much. The snow blind here. There's my car. There's how high the snow is piled out here by the road. But anyway, um, my parents keep the driveway cleared out. You can see my dad just came in. Here, the tires just packed it down, but I want to show you how much snow we got overnight. Look at that. Here's my foot. It's just been snowing all day. But here's my car. It's um, My mom shoveled it out a little bit. She's been working on it. She said it was buried and uh, completely under snow. But there it's um, partly exposed. You can see she, where she was digging right here. I got a little bit of work to do to get the car out. But uh, that's alright. Gives me some exercise to get used to this cold weather again. So anyway, I'm back to America and uh, going to head back to the off-grid project soon.